What's up guys? Today I'm doing a twin flame reading for, um, well today is October 11th. It's the day that I'm reading the energy, not necessarily the day that it will resonate. So as it pertains to content and timing, take it as it resonates. It could be something that I say today that helps you today or helps you in the near future. This reading was brought to you by Master Manifestor Cheese Seed that I created today. It, I teach how to manifest anything you want, and I basically ordered it in a cheat sheet format just to help you, um, and I would show you, but that's my personal one that I'm doing myself. But anyway, that helps you manifest anything you desire and put order to the process. The link is in my description, ashleygiller.com, and I'll put it there so that um, if you desire to manifest anything you want, you can use that. I use this same format to manifest my student loan payment, to manifest my veteran disability rating, to manifest $30,000 twice, so many different things. And I wanted to show you the way, so I created it. Um, so I'm gonna read energies for the masculine and the feminine. <coughs> Excuse me. It could be reading for your masculine energy, the masculine aspect of yourself, or it could be reading for an external partner. It, same goes for the feminine. The feminine aspect of yourself or an external partner. It's information leading us to unity of the dualities of ourselves so that we can operate and co-create and coexist within ourselves, being one with ourselves and God. Uh, without further ado, let's begin. I hope you guys have had a wonderful day off today, if you had a day off. Um, a wonderful Columbus Day. I put essential oil on my deck because I wanted to. So I'm going to start with the Energy Oracle. And they are flying out. Okay, so we have Door to Press, New Healing and Happiness. We have 11. I've been seeing lots of 11s today. 11s is spiritual, awakening, enlightenment, ascension, energies. So I think third eye. I think... Um, you know, light, being light for others and for yourselves and receiving light. I'm not going to also ignore this adjacent policy, adjacent possibility. So what I'm going to do is take that out. We have journey at the bottom of the deck and we also have victory. So let's see. Let's see. What is this all about? I believe this is basically, and I'm going to read some of it from the book, but this is an alternative, something, an alternative, alternative possibility that manifests and opens the door for you, leading to blessings and abundance and ascension, potentially. But it's something that you didn't consider. Excuse me. Something that is you or the masculine or both of you or the both masculine aspect, masculine and feminine aspects of yourself didn't consider that leads you to personal healing and happiness and leads to better better time my computer stopped so i don't know where it stopped at but it leads to the opening the door to personal healing and happiness and to better times it's an adjacent possibility something that you didn't think about something that you didn't consider uh let's start with cornucopia because we've been seeing i've been seeing 11s a lot today Let's see what it says. Wishes for fulfilled. And what's crazy is I created, you know, the Master Manifesto Cheat Sheet today. And it's about the fulfillment of your desires and going through the process to fulfill your desires. But it says, it says, an abundant harvest and great blessings are waiting for you. You may even find all of your wishes fulfilled. I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. Um, because I've been in that energy today as I was creating a cheat sheet, this is perfect. And I've been seeing 11s today. So if you've been seeing 11, 11, or any 11s, you know, my email was 9292, and that's 11, 11. So it's speaking of you're in the energy of having your wishes fulfilled, abundance is flowing to you. And coming to you and, and possibly even manifesting in a physical realm right now. This cornucopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial witches, job fulfillment, romantic love, or all of the above. Hmm. 
And I got good news today, too, from something else. So this is certainly, certainly, certainly um, amazing news. And you have 34 as well. 34 is 7. 7, the number of blessings. Some people say luck. Spiritual completion. So it's like, okay, this is, you know, without looking here, it's like, You've completed the journey. Now the door to personal healing and happiness and abundance is open and available to you. And in fact, your wishes are being fulfilled right now. And it's coming in a way that you didn't expect it. Y'all, I took my braids down so y'all have to excuse my hair. But, you know, I'm comfortable with who I am. So, my son said he likes it. He said, boy... <laughs> connection with kindred spirits i don't know why i just looked at 11 you may be connected with kindred spirits or 11 7 is the community energy card it's about coming together with like-minded individuals so that could be happening for you as well 34 is what i was looking for new beginnings in your personal life This card is a harbinger of positive change. The beautiful light field door opens a lush rainbow lit spring field with vibrant lotus flowers. Whether you're walk, working on some inner healing, such as breaking an addiction or looking to make some external changes, finding a new place to live, this card signals that your life is opening up and new opportunities are about to fulfill, appear. The changes you've been working on are ready to blossom with wonderful results. So make sure you see your personal intentions through with continued actions and optimistic expectations. I love. So, so far, good news. I'm being pulled to pull some Uno cards, but so far, so good. We have our wishes being fulfilled in a way that we didn't expect. Adjacent possibility could be, now, if you've been on this twin flame journey and you, you're ready to manifest partnership and unity with a person with a partner you know a co-create someone that you can be together with it could be somebody you didn't expect or in a way that you didn't expect it could be a door that you thought was closed that's about to reopen you just never know like with adjacent possibilities it's like you know i talk in the master manifesto cheat sheet i explain the cheat sheet and um i take a few pages to explain the cheat sheet and I explained that while we may request the universe to bless us in one way, we can receive the blessing in another way. Lots of cards came up. Look at this. The number red, the red too. I get masculine energy from the color red. And with the number two, it's unity. It's like, um, yeah, it's unity. So, two is the number of balance as well, but it's also the number of unity. So, it's like, with the two in red, it's like the masculine energy finding balance or coming together or the unification of the masculine energies. We'll keep reading because that's kind of open-ended. 99. 99, right? Because that could be a six, yeah. So when I see um, yellow and red, yellow I think spiritual, red I think physical, like masculine energy. So this could be like feminine and masculine energies. Nine is like you're almost there. Ten is endings and new beginnings. Nine is near completion. So it's like almost being there. But it's like you both are in the same space right now. Masculine and feminine being in the same space. Let's keep reading because that's, that's precarious. It's like you both are almost there. So it could be the masculine near unification or your internal masculine. It could be you, you, you're almost there internally as a masculine to unification of your masculine and feminine energies. Yes, it doesn't always have to be your partner. It could be about you being almost there, you putting in the effort to balance your masculine and feminine energy, getting them on the same playing field, and being almost there. And I lit my karma card, my karma candle 
to bring in positive karma because we're putting out positive karma so we're not afraid of karma coming back but okay we got two 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 more red and yellow oh, guys what do you see the next one two 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 that's my twin flame number but two 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 which is six is the number of Balance, harmony, unity, coming together. It's red and yellow. Again, masculine and feminine energy. Spiritual and masculine energy is coming together, um, unifying. It's my it, The reason why I say it's my twin flame number is 222 equals 6. And 6 is being light on earth or being a vessel of God on earth. It's like being in perfect alignment with what you're supposed to be doing. So when you see 222s, two, 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 it's like you're in alignment. 333, three, three, it might be creation. 222 two, two is like unification. You're in alignment to um, unifying your masculine and feminine energies. So if I had to read this, and then the next will be 10. Lewis is for communication for me. And I just saw 11 and 11 there. But 10 is endings and new beginnings. So can you see this? So, so far we have, let me move this stuff over. So, so far, basically what it's saying is you're almost there to balancing your masculine and feminine energies. Endings and new beginnings are on the horizon. Um, I'm ready to begin again. I, I'm ready to end and begin again. 222, two, two, which is also balancing unification and harmony. So it's like you're in the ninth inning, and I'm hoping I'm using that baseball term right, in both of your energies, both masculine and feminine. So if you don't resonate that within yourself, it could be the partnership as well. The masculine being almost there and you being almost there. And then, you know, together and unification is being there. And let's keep pulling. You're almost there. Almost. Doesn't count, though. <laughs> I'm so funny. The Queen of Wands fell. Should I take that? I'll take it. What do you want, Queen of Wands? Queen of Wands sometimes is like a, the attraction card for me. It's like you are attracting wealth. You are attracting an audience. The Queen of Wands is there by your side. Let's see if we get the King of Wands come out too. Is there by your side when no one else is taking up for you, standing, you're helping you to stand your ground. Page of Pentacles, the Emperor. Ooh. Okay, so it's like the king of the queen of wands. We have eight of um. Okay, so let's read this before we continue to pull more. So we have the queen of wands, the page of pentacles, the emperor, and the eight of wands. So it's like new beginnings, putting you on a solid foundation or bringing in a solid foundation into your life really quickly. But the emperor could also resonate with um. The masculine externally coming forth with an offer and wanting to move fast. Quick Queen of Wands also moves fast. So if you're wanna if you're thinking things manifesting very quickly, you got the Queen of Wands here and you have the Eight of Wands here. First of all, these are this is a lot of fire sign energy. The Emperor is Aries. Aries Leo Sagittarius, Aries Leo Sagittarius, Aries Leo Sagittarius, all in here. So it's a lot of fire energy, and we just had the new moon in Aries, so it makes sense. It could be that this new moon in Aries is bringing in the quick manifestation of blessings. But listen, I am not giving up on Libra season. I've been reading and reading and reading, and my readings have been telling me months and months and months ago that blessings are happening Libra season if you have not it's not over yet so if your blessing has not manifested it is it's coming but we have the Queen of Wands and we have the Eight of Wands so whatever it is it's gonna manifest very quickly but you know what with these quick manifestation manifestation everything changing really quickly it could be a burden to you but it's also increased responsibility with these new beginnings and possibly career new beginnings and career giving you a solid foundation or providing you or opening the door for a solid foundation. This dropped. Okay, so and I'll take this bottle. 
Ooh, child, the death card. Transformation. And we have victory here. I didn't read victory, but we have victory here. That's self-explanatory. Finally, victory. And you see 2 and 8, 2 plus 8 equals 10. We got 10, 10 in this reading so far. So it's like victory is near. Victory is near, victory is here. Keep working. All right, so what do we have here? We have the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. Child, what's going on? Okay, so, so far we have this new offer coming in, manifesting very quickly, coming in very quickly. Yes, opening the door and creating a solid foundation that's protected. <sighs> Bless me. <laughs> creating a solid foundation as it pertains to career and life, but also transformation vibes, transforming our life and putting us in energy of being burdened because everything is changing and transform transforming so quickly. But then we have the Queen of Cups here. With uh, The Queen of Cups is like emotional fulfillment. But being in a good place emotionally, when the Queen of Cups is balanced, it's emotional fulfillment, but it's it's, it's nurturing energy, it's self-love, it's being in tune with your intuition, but also being in tune with your emotions. So this could be, it could be spirit telling us to remain calm with the Queen of Cups energy, or to remain in control, remain in control of our emotion the as things start to manifest for us. Then we have the Knight of Cups, which is another offer. So we have two offers here, business offer and love offer. So it's like, then we also have the King of Pentacles, which is Aries, Taurus energy. But, you know, Earth sign energy, but Aries is also um, a part of the cups of this. And then you have Five of Cups. Missed opportunities with the Five of Cups. But you have an abundant you have an abundance of opportunities here. And you have a few offers here coming through. You are not emotionally controlled. However, everything is moving so quickly and you can't take it all. So this could be the energy of and I'm gonna pull some clarifying cards for it. But it could be the energy of not being able to have it all. Yeah. The King of Pentacles is solid. So with the Emperor and the Queen of King of Pentacles here, it's like definitely solid foundation as it pertains to um, life, as it pertains to career, as it pertains to abundance, as it pertains to money, as it pertains to, you know, financial abundance and increase and overflow in your life. This is it's happening. This, if you resonate with this reading, this is definitely manifesting for you very quickly. But what's causing the issue is not, I don't think money is causing the issue. I think it's love. Because when this Knight of Cups came in, this Five of Cups came in too, and this Queen of Cups came in, reminding us to remain in control of our emotion. Interesting. Clarify this for me, Spirit. Jim Body TMC. I'm going to be, 2020 is going to be lit for Gym Body. Okay. Yeah. Eight of one, eight of swords and the four of pentacles. To clarify this, yes, it's the love offer. Who do I hold on to? What um, that's going to keep someone outside of war? Ooh, seven of swords. We already know because from my previous readings as well that it's going to be someone trying to take something away from you. So when you are in this abundance energy and when you have increase and overflow in your life, you have to be careful who you allow in your life because it could be people trying to take it away from you. Um, I just watched this movie. We have always lived in a castle on Netflix and the cousin came in to take the fortune away. But this could be someone else trying to come in and offer you something. 
but not from a place of love, from a place of taking you away from somebody else or taking you away from something else. But whatever it is, it's time to let it go. With the Five of Cups and the Death here, it's time for it to end. To prevent it from taking you away from your future, you have to end your past. I'm going to keep reading. <laughs> and I have the karma candle burning. Hoping in the karmic trying to take it away. Ooh, child, four of pentacles came twice. Twice, honey. Nine of pentacles. Hmm. Sorry. This could still be telling you to hold on to your coins, too. Watch your spending habits. Sometimes, um... When you're overspending, you'll get the seven of swords as well. It's like, you know, before you can even keep the money in your pocket, is being taken away. So it could be about your spending as well. Watch your spending. Hold on to your coins. Save up. Um, when you get this abundance, don't spend it all in one place. Continue to work towards your goal for the Knight of Pentacles there. And with the, this is offer too. This is two nights. These are offers and offers coming in. Ciao. This is telling the story to Page of Cups under there, but it's like multiple offers and because you have multiple offers, you're not taking action on them. But have faith and hold on to one that resonates with you. Have faith. Continue to have faith. Take the job that resonates with you. Take the business that resonates with you. Take the partnership that resonates with you. Take the offer, the romantic offer that resonates with you. Have faith and hold on to the one that your intuition brings you to. You have the Queen of Cups here. Follow your intuition. And your emotions. Balance your emotions and follow your intuition and take the one that resonates with you. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm good, though. Just doing a quick reading for you guys. Um, certainly a lot of blessings that are going to come in for us. We can expect blessings, abundance, increase and overflow in our lives. Um, but when, you know, when that comes in, be aware of the opposition working on be through someone close to you to steal your inheritance, to steal your abundance, or to steal you away from someone else. Not to be worried about it, but just be cognizant of it. Don't allow this energy of third parties and karmics to keep you all tied up. Make a decision and be with the person that resonates with you and have faith that it, you're, you know, have faith in yourself and your ability to choose. You can do it. You can choose. You can choose. Um, you can choose. I'm going to wear my love bracelet that my son got me just because this reading has me in that energy. Yeah, and I'm going to face it towards me because I deserve love and you deserve love. Anyway, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting. If you resonate with this reading, let me know. Uh, please, 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 please like, comment, share, watch it through, whatever. Every minute counts, every view counts, every share counts. And if you want to know how I manifested all payment, $106,000 on my student loans without paying it, and money, $30,000 twice, and 100% VA disability rating, if you want to know the manifestation process and you want the cheat sheet, Ordering, I ordered it so that people can go through the manifestation process very easily. So it's like one through seven, and you just follow the steps, write down your manifestation, you put it out there. Literally helps you and guides you through the process. And the reason why, and it's six page, it's five pages with the cover, which six pages. The reason why I have it as five pages is because I explained each question, so you can know what you're doing. I'm a person who needs to know what I'm doing and why. So I made it so that I'm explaining exactly what you're doing, and you know why you're doing it, and you know what you're doing it for. That way, when you're manifesting, you're intentionally manifesting your desires, and, you, and you're working towards it with intention, not ignorance. Now, you can manifest ignorantly. I manifested the first thing. Not the first thing. I've manifested several things ignorantly, but... Once you know what you're doing, you can continue it and you can repeat the process and manifest more and more. Anyway, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, share. Thank you for all you do. I appreciate each and every one of you. You are all the best. I wish you love. I wish you light. I wish you more life. Peace.